Christmas. Lovely to see you. So you're you're just muted there. Unmute, unmute, unmute. Oh, listen, Francis, can I, just, can I just start by saying this woman was our featured artist last week oh. and I got overexcited and I thought we were supposed to finish fast and I didn't let you get in for last word, Francis. Yeah. <laughs> Huge apologies, you know, so because I, I, don't say I got enough of talk. <laughs> oh, never, never can we get enough of Frances Kennedy. I love this woman and I've been following her coattails for 30 oh, years. Gosh. So, yeah. <laughs> So what what a light, you know, the, the encouragement, you never know the quiet corners where Francis will tip you on the elbow and she'll say, did you think of telling this story or, you know, I think this one will suit you. And she just brings on so many people, such a generous spirit and such a holder of local tradition. I'm loving the, the, the stuff that's coming out of you during this COVID time, Francis, and I'm Looking forward to loads more. So I'd like to get a word in edgeways now. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. As ever, you're too generous, so you are. Oh my God, what an enchanting night. From Mickey's fabulous songs. Oh my God, wouldn't they just warm your heart to hear he's telling. And do you know when um, the flower was up in, in Delhi there, it was so wonderful to yeah. hear Mickey's songs coming over speakers everywhere around Delhi. It was, it was enchanting as well. But, you know, um, this is lovely list all here behind me. And um, I suppose enchantment, Ireland was always the land of the enchanted. And, you know, whether it's, um, it wasn't all good enchantment either. And tomorrow night is May Eve. Are you all ready for May Eve? Maeve is the night that the dark enchantment can be woven on people, on what they have. <laughs> and behind us here, the fields are, I remember as a child on May Eve, you'd be sent out with holy water and you to bless every field and you were given salt to put salt in the well so that nobody could do truplish you know on Maeve and one of the main things that they could take on May Eve was your look for the year ahead and they could take the fat of the land the buffer and you see all somebody with dark magic needed was maybe to take a spencil you know they'd have for tying the cow's legs together and that spencil, if they had the power behind them, that spencil could be put into the churn and they could churn it. And instead of cream inside in the churn, it would be just the spencil, the rope going around. And when the churning was done, they could draw the butter from the fat of your land, the cattle out there grazing. And I suppose, We've always been known here, I suppose, in Kerry for the Kerry Gold Butter. We are known worldwide and there is nothing as nice. Oh, my God, isn't the Kerry Gold Butter just gorgeous? The good Irish creamery butter. And if you're looking for something just to pip you up, that butter melting in a lovely lake in top of a steaming bowl of pandy of good spuds. By God, if we're looking for comfort food, that's what you should go for. And Cold Canyon, sure, Ireland is famous for that. Did you ever eat Cold Canyon made from lovely thick and cream? The greens and scallions mingle slightly to picture in a dream. Did you ever make a hole on top to hold the melting flake of the creamy flavoured butter that your mother used to make? Oh, you did, so you did, so did he and so did I. And the more I think about it, sure, the nearer I'm to cry. Oh, what in those the happy days when troubles we knew not? And our mother's made called cannon from the little skillet pot. 
Oh, did you ever take pretty cakes or box thee to the school? Tucked underneath your oxter with your book, your slate and rule. And when the teacher wasn't looking, a great big bite you take of the mealy flavoured, soft and melting sweet potato cake. Oh, you did, so you did, so did he and so did I. And the more I think about it, sure, the nearer I'm to cry. Oh, well, those the happy days when troubles we knew not, and our mother's mate called Cannon and the little skillet heart. Oh, did you ever go courting when the evening sun went down? The moon began a peeping from behind the hill and down, and you wandered down the boring where the chloracon was seen. You whisper loving phrases to your own dear sweet pigeon. Oh, you did, so you did, so did he, and so did I. And the more I think about it, sure, the nearer I'm to cry. Oh, well, goes the happy days when troubles we knew not. And our mother's mate called Cannon and the little skillet heart. Oh, you did, so you did, so did he, and so did I. The more I think about the cure, the nearer I'm to cry. Oh, weren't those the happy days when troubles we knew not? And our mother made called cannon in the little skillet part. Should we? <laughs> Well, now thank you. I just yeah. absolutely love that. I was I was taken away, um, Francis, and I was like, I was thinking the song is coming, and then we're going to get the end of the story. <laughs> but I absolutely loved loved that. I was singing away, and and Johnny H was roaring, laughing at me, singing away in silence. <laughs> Along with you, what a brilliant, what a well, what a great song. Well, it is May Eve, May Eve tomorrow night, where where. People can uh, do black magic, as it's said in old here in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And there are so many tales, and Maria, I know you have loads of them. But tonight, you have loads of talent out there waiting to perform. Oh, listen, Francis Kennedy, what a brilliant night we've had tonight. And you were a big, huge Wonderful. part of it again, you know. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next month. I actually don't know what I would do without the back of, of Francis Kennedy and your great heart. I love you. <laughs>